Gwen Stefani discusses her marriage breakdown as she covers Marie Claire. Her fiancé Blake Shelton was recently named People's Sexiest Man Alive. Not to be outdone, Gwen Stefani has nabbed a magazine cover of her own, fronting Marie Claire's holiday issue. The 48-year-old divorcee reflects on the heartache she had endured before meeting Blake in the issue. For a long time, I could not understand why I'd had so much heartache in my life, she admitted. I have parents who are still married and in love. I had such loving role models. I don't understand it. But she said she now sees that the pain had a purpose. What I learned was that my heartbreak was supposed to happen, that it was my purpose to write about and share my story, Gwen told Marie Claire. I met at least 50 to 100 people before each show on my tour and got to hear that my truth and my story translated, and I feel very lucky and honored knowing that. Before Blake, the platinum blonde who modeled Cartier rings on the magazine cover had only gone through two serious romances. She dated her one-time No Doubt bandmate Tony Cannell for seven years and had a 20-year relationship with her now former husband Gavin Rossdale. The marriage lasted from 2002 until 2016 and produced three sons, Kingston, 11, Zimmer, 9, and Apollo, 3. Gwen had filed for divorce in August 2015. By that November, Blake and Gwen had officially confirmed they were an item after a swirl of rumors to this effect. She told Marie Claire about visiting my best friend Blake's Oklahoma ranch, saying, It's very tribal. Blake has a sister, she comes with her kids. We cook and get muddy and dirty. There are eight of us. Being a mother of three boys, it's kind of the perfect place. Everything is real now, whereas before, things didn't seem so real. The frequent churchgoer also talked to magazine about worship, saying, Spiritual exercise got me somewhere. Some people like to meditate, do yoga, or just take quiet time, but for me, instead of how you talk to yourself, you pray. So Gwen, you surrender and ask for guidance. It's not all about you. The Fullerton-born pop star who released her first holiday album You Make It Feel Like Christmas last month discussed her professional ambitions as well. I would love to do something like write a musical, just be a part of a writing thing, because that confidence has come back now and I know I have something to offer. The songbird said, it used to be such a stress. There was so much doubt in me now it's like, well, just go and write and write a song. In one of her eye-catching photos for the magazine, Gwen showed off her trim woodruff in a slinky white Roberto Cavalli frock. Wearing flashy jewelry, she lifted both her hands up to the sides of her forehead, displaying her scarlet-painted fingernails. Gwen flashed a bit of leg and black lapirilla underwear for another photo, draping herself in a thick normal Kamali jacket and pulling on KPIO tights.